Good day everyone, I'm Carla Jane G. Ako. What would happen if there is a written addendum by the president which was not included in the publication? Let's find out in the case of Nagkakaisang Maralita ng Sitio Masigasig Incorporated versus Department of National Defense with GR number 187587 decided on June 5, 2013. On July 12, 1957, President Carlos P. Garcia, through Proclamation Number 423, reserved parcels of land in the municipalities of Pasig, Taguig, Paranaque, Province of Rizal, and Pasay City for a military reservation. The military reservation, then known as Fort William McKinley, was later on renamed Fort Andres Bonifacio, which is under the administration of herein respondent Military Shrine Services, Philippine Veterans Affairs Office, or MSS Pivao. On May 28, 1967, President Ferdinand E. Marcos issued Proclamation No. 208, amending Proclamation No. 423, which excluded a certain area of Fort Bonifacio and reserved it for a national shrine. The excluded area is now known as the Libingan ng Mga Bayani. Again, on January 7, 1986, President Marcos issued Proclamation No. 2476, further amending Proclamation No. 423, which excluded Barangays Lower Bikutan, Upper Bikutan, and Signal Village from the operation of Proclamation No. 423 and declared it open for disposition under the provisions of Republic Act Numbers 274 and 730. At the bottom of the Proclamation No. 2476, President Marcos made a handwritten addendum which reads, P.S. This includes Western Bikutan, signed Ferdinand E. Marcos. The controversy started when Proclamation No. 2476 was published in the Official Gazette on February 3, 1986 without the above-quoted addendum. Years later, on October 16, 1987, President Corazon C. Aquino issued Proclamation No. 172, which substantially reiterated Proclamation No. 2476 as published. But this time, this included lots 1 and 2 of Western Bikutan from the operation of Proclamation No. 423 and declared the said lots open for disposition under the provisions of RA 274 and 730. Through the years, informal settlers increased and occupied some areas of Fort Bonifacio, including portions of the Libingan ng Mga Bayani. Thus, Brigadier General Fredelito Bautista issued General Order No. 1323, creating Task Force Bantay, or TFB, primarily to prevent further unauthorized occupation and to cause the demolition of illegal structures at Fort Bonifacio. On August 27, 1999, members of Petitioner Nagkaka Isang Maralita ng Sitio Masigasig Incorporated filed a petition with the Commission on Settlement of Land Problems, docketed as COSLAP Case No. 99434. On September 1, 2000, Petitioner Western Bikutan Lot Owners Association, Inc. files a petition in intervention, substantially praying for the same reliefs as those prayed for by NMSI with regard to the area the former they occupied. Koslap ruled that the handwritten addendum of President Marcos was an integral part of Proclamation No. 2476 and was therefore controlling. The intention of the President could not be defeated by the negligence or inadvertence of others. 
The issue of this case is whether or not the handwritten addendum is an integral part of the proclamation. The court ruled that no, they cannot rely on a handwritten note that was not part of Proclamation No. 2476 as published. Without publication, the note never had any legal force and effect. Pursuant to Article 2 of the Civil Code, the requirement of publication is indispensable in the effectivity of a law unless otherwise provided by the law itself. Publication must be in full or it is no publication at all for the purpose that it should inform the public of the contents of the law. The publication of any law, resolution, or other official documents in the official gazette shall be prima facie evidence of its authority. Thus, whether or not President Marcos intended to include Western Bikutan is not only irrelevant but speculative.